Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about creating freestyle project using Jenkins 2.0 for build and test. Before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. So in our last video, which is nothing but part 6, we did the same freestyle project using Jenkins 2.0 for building our project by downloading the repository from GitHub and just compiling it. That's it. So it's just a building of our project. But we did not did anything like a testing because that particular project that we downloaded from the repo did not actually have any test project by itself. And that's the reason there was no test being executed. But this time we are going to leverage and see how we can actually try to test the particular project and see how it works. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to flip to our Windows 10 virtual machine and try to see what exactly we are going to do. So we saw how we have the project being created in our workspace in our previous video, right? So let's do this. Let's try to use a different project this time from our GitHub of Execute Automation channel. And let's use a different repository, which is nothing but Selenium with Cucumber. Again, this is not an HTML project. It is a same project kind of, but it has a test project in it and it is executing the UI test for us as well. So I'm going to just clone this particular repo and then I'm going to execute the test, right? So let me go to the Jenkins once again. And through this same basic EA freestyle project, I'm just going to reconfigure it. So again, for reconfiguring this particular project, we, are, we can just do this. We can just go to the configure option over here, and then you can just reconfigure whatever change that you want. So basically, I'm just going to reconfigure this particular project because again, I don't really have to create the same kind of stuff once again, because we are just going to do just a reconfiguration here. So this is loading. And here I just changed the particular project over here. We say name with Cucumber project, right? And here the goal is actually compile. Well, for that particular project, the goal is actually called as verify or test, something like that. So we can just give this verify. And then I'm gonna hit save. So this will basically do a UI test for us, I guess. So now I'm just gonna build the particular project. And let's go over here and let's see the console output. Let's see what's really happening. You can see that this time it is going to do a verify by pulling this particular project for us. So right now it is scanning the project and it seems like there are some of the plugins being missing. So it is downloading all those plugins for us. So it is going to take a while because it has to download the Surefire plugin for Maven and it has to download the Maven Cucumber reporting because uh, in that particular project we also have a Maven Cucumber reporting so it is downloading that and also it is going to download the JSON and a lot of other options that were whichever we have used for that particular project so it's downloading everything all right so now it is starting the test for us and you can see that the runner.test is been running and there is some error while executing the particular test which is okay I guess it's because it is trying to call the Firefox browser and in this machine we don't really have a Firefox browser installed and that's the reason it is failing or it may be failing because it is trying to look for a plugin which needs to be available under a particular folder location but since it is not there it is again failing I guess so let's see what's really gonna happen mm, we can quickly see what is the error so it says the java.illegal, yep. As you can see here, the driver executable does not exist in the e colon slash lib slash chrome driver.exe is not there. Mm, so bad because we are trying to, we have hard coded the path location of the chrome driver uh, in our project and that's why it is looking for the chrome driver within this e colon slash libs and it just got failed. Pretty bad for now. So let's see the whole code. It's going to be failing, of course. All right. It says succeeded. It just succeeded because the the build is done and the execution is done, but the test has failed, right? And now if I just go over here, you can see back to the project. This particular project is not 
tested yet so now what I can do is I can just go to this particular project and change the code a little bit to point to the C colon and we need to have a Chrome driver as well for our, our particular project so I can just download the Chrome driver from here so this is the Chrome driver 2.27 so we'll download for uh, the Windows operating system there we go and then let me open this and I'm gonna put this in the C column of my machine or you can also set the home path of the Chrome driver it should be fine as well so whichever is fine so I'm gonna put it over here and within this code we have to change this again within this code I know where this particular change has to be made I can just go to the source no I guess it is there in the steps yep hook.java so here I guess we have hard coded the location as e colon slash lips so we can just do a code edit all right I need to sign in so let me quickly sign in and now I can just do and edit this file and here instead of this uh, this e colon I can just give it a c colon slash lips uh, slash chrome driver which is okay and I can just say oops updated the Chrome driver location I can commit the changes there we go and now it is there in the C colon slash lips so C colon slash lips is residing under here in our machine C colon and there is a lips folder right and now if I try to build this particular project this time you can see that it should work fine without any problem and also it should be very fast because all the plugins have already been downloaded so we should not see any downloading of the plugin once again so this time it should be very fast as well there we go now it should open up Chrome browser for us and perform a basic test so now the testing is starting so you can see that it is opening a Firefox br Chrome browser for us and it is navigating to the Excel Automation demo site. There we go. It has executed. And now it is again opening one more Chrome browser and then performing the operation, which is cool. So now we can see that we can able to perform a testing and building of our project very, very easily uh, using these options, right? So you can also see uh, that this particular simple options that we made has performed this operation very, very easily for us. But as you can see that once our project is progressing, we will have different stages of the execution in our project, something like building the project, testing the project, and reporting the particular test failures, and also we have to see how the test reports are gonna look like, and then we also need to have a mailing system in place, and then we have to trigger the build once the once there is a new code check-in is done into the continuous integration systems. All these things are pretty, pretty important for a, for a continuous integration system. So we are going to basically deep dive into all these things in our upcoming videos as well. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.